Hey guys, as you can see, you probably don't recognize this tank at all. This is because I am starting a new aquarium. Um, I finally got the okay on one of my three attempts to get a other aquarium besides my 28 in my house. This is going to be a five gallon um, planted tank with a DIY filter. Um, it is actually on my desk. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now I'm going to be failing on my classes because I'm just going to be staring at my tank. Alright, anyway, I'm um, just walking through this tank. It's I don't have all the substrate yet. I need to get the dirt because it is going to be a planted tank. But basically, I have sand right here. Um, I need to clean it up a little bit. But it's just going to be like a trail. I kind of got an idea off of YouTube from the Green Machine, the store in England or Germany, I'm not sure which one. And um, one of their tanks had this sand idea with the trail and the plants on either side, and I really liked it. So um, I'm gonna copy their idea. Um, go check out Green Machine, they're really cool. Um, all their plants it takes and everything. Uh, so this right here, all the, where the glass is, that's all gonna be, um, it's all gonna be plants and everything. I'm just gonna plant the crap out of this tank. Um, one, because I want to cover the filter, but two, because I want to not overstock the tank, but I want to have a lot of nice fish in here. German blue ran a pair of German blues, a uh, red dwarf gr um, flame garami, um, school of serpe tetra, school of neon tetras. Uh, what else? So yeah, big plans for this tank. Uh, to go into my DIY filter, basically anything you can find if you're, a, if you love aquariums, so, or other animals. So the base is basically is just a mealworm container with slots in it so water can get up through the bottom. Uh, then the rest is just a bottle that I cuff the bottom and it just slides perfectly on top. Then we got some filter floss. I think I took two large. Um, Two inch by two by six inch sheets and cut them up into three pieces. So there's six pieces of filter floss in there, and it goes up to a carbon bag, and then goes out the top. As you can see by the water current. Um, then I have a bubbler obviously on the bottom, which is being weighed down by a fishing weight because otherwise it just float throughout the tank. Um, these rocks are just going to be decoration. There's going to be the Dirt's going to be under the rocks, so these are just in there to get used to the tank and everything. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, for lighting, uh, normal, f oh, you can't really see, eco-friendly fluorescent bulb, um, nice light, been able to grow plants on it before, so, um, yeah, so this is my new start. Um, update on the 75 gallon at school, the saltwater tank. The live rock uh, arrived today. I forgot to record today. So, most likely, I'm trying to record tomorrow um, if possible. Uh, I really like my aquascape for the tank. However, the rock doesn't seem to be what I ordered. I ordered regular live rock and then live rock with coralline algae and algae. Um, and coral on it, and it just looks nothing like the picture. I can't even tell the difference between the ones that are supposed to have that coralline and uh, coral on it versus the regular ones. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but it looks really nice. Um, we ordered the cleanup crew. I know it's a little early, but uh, we want to get this thing going. All right, guys, so this is my new 5-gallon freshwater planted tank. Stay tuned for more updates. All right, bye.